It's the beginning of the season. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and Rob's dead. He's dead. <laughs> it's been a while since yep. I've done that. Yeah, it's yep. training camp. Let him. Let him yeah, you got to get it going, gotta man. Get, we got a lot more of these one. to go, brother. Yeah. Gonna throw out the throat there on that one. Mm -hmm. Throw out the throat. <laughs> That's what they do. In my life. That's how it yeah. works. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, regular well, problem for me. Regular, <laughs> regular problems. Here we are. It's time. It's that time of football where it's back, but it's not really back because oh. no starters are really doing anything of meaning. Yep. 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 Everyone, uh, all the starters are going to camp and being like, no, oh, my toe hurts. I can't practice today. <laughs> or they're just like, wow, he looks like he's in the best shape of his life when it's like, well, yeah, because he is and it's going to get worse <laughs> as we continue. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get that yeah oh, so his body all. hasn't taken years of abuse yet. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not yet. Uh, I mean, they, they all have in the NFL, well, I that's feel true, like. Yeah. Yeah. Some more than others. High school, college, yeah. Speaking of what, I actually saw a Reddit clip from like a few weeks ago where Devontae Adams was like going insane on the Raiders sidelines, being like, this oh, is the yeah. most I've gotten hit. This fucking team sucks ass and shit. <laughs> bro, bro might have killed Jimmy G if they let him. Like, I think they oh, would yeah. have just killed him. <laughs> it, was, it was rough. Um, I mean, he can come back if he wants. He'll probably go to the Jets, though, if anything. Or good. Uh, uh, yeah. Dude, there's rumors. Brandon Ayuk for Devontae Adams. Yeah, there's been so many Brandon Ayuk rumors, Devontae <laughs> Adams rumors, some uh, DK Metcalf rumors. Yep. There was like D Devontae Adams rumors like all last season. Well, too. yeah. <laughs> and they, they <laughs> like, were warranted because he was mad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Bri Brandon Ayuk wanting to get out of San Francisco. Dude, the 49ers are kind of hitting their... They're like, and they're like, come on, we got to win this thing because we got time to go. <laughs> we got to yeah. pay literally everybody. The You're going to have to overpay Brock Purdy. Yeah, that's right. My first Brock Purdy diss of the year. <laughs> it is. only took five minutes. <laughs> it actually only well, took two I and mean, a half minutes. Oh, are fuck. they going to have to pay him this year? <laughs> Wait, have they... year. Not this year. Oh, next did, year. They, did they not? Oh, right. Because he was Mr. Irrelevant. So they yep. actually have him on a fucking four-year contract. He's, on, oh, he's yeah. making $1 million. That's fucked. <laughs> it's that's actually so insane. Fucked. I feel yeah. like... I wonder if that's going to translate into him having his best or worst season because everything, like his entire financial future, like lies on this season now. Yeah, yeah, it really does. Yeah, yeah um, no, that's like totally fucked. <laughs> yeah. that, like that's that's it's one of those situations where you would prefer, honestly, to well, like I get, I mean, when you're Mister Irrelevant, you do get a somewhat marquee name, mm -hmm. but like also you know you might want to prefer to be undrafted there because if you have a year like a year or two like rock purdy then you're already getting paid you know yeah i mean he's gonna yeah. even if the 49ers decided not to pay him somebody's gonna pay him just based yeah, on the fact that like, true. The, he's but gotten I mean, to the super he's played in a super bowl but here's the thing if they had to pay him at the end of last season to keep him right then it would like depending on how this year goes it could potentially be way more you know what i mean yeah like if well, he has like a really shitty year this year then they're they'll be like oh yeah we'll give you a 15 million dollar contract speaking years, of which you know we've had some big quarterback contracts recently that's been the news because mm. tua signed a four-year 212 million dollar extension averaging 53.1 million wow uh and then jordan love signed a four-year extension worth 220 million oh interesting Look, yep. I, Jordan Love has been great, but man, that's a little early. I had a well. It was I mean, one of those things where they had to extend him, and it was like, like, what are you gonna do? Not pay him and be like, we're going with Sean Clifford this year? Or some no, shit, for right? sure. It's just like I, that timing kind of sucks because I don't think like 
we fully decided he's amazing yet or not and that's amazing quarterback money so it is yeah but yeah i mean he did have a great year he fairness. had a great year yeah. but i was a lot of quarterbacks who had a great True. year who would have a not so yeah. great second year well, my thing yeah. is that i'm banking on the fact that he's kind of been in the system for years and they've watched him and they've coached him like it's not like they just signed him off the street after a year like he's pretty good pay him like he's mm -hmm. literally been coached and trained up and in this system for like since Rodgers was there so like they're banking on the fact that <coughs> that's part of it too so it's, it's also a uh, well sorry yeah go on I would say so it's it's not just like he played eight good games and they're like pay him it's like the they're hoping that continues and plus like the team around him is the same like everything's you know pretty similar so there there shouldn't be anything unless he gets injured or something yeah and and it's all it's also just kind of like a leverage situation right for qbs mm -hmm. just in general like yeah. especially with with a, if you have a great year and you're and you're going into contract negotiations on that year then you know you you're it's it's pretty much pay me or, or i'll walk and someone else will pay that you know yeah. Cause, exactly yeah, because of the number and so. like out of any position that you're gonna pay somebody like quarterback has to be it because as mm -hmm. we've seen with any team quarterback matters the most out of literally anything there's teams that will trade all of their draft picks to go up and get a quarterback and hope that he's good and not even know that he's good while what you mean <laughs> yeah I don't, I don't know either it's crazy can't imagine any team doing something like that. yeah and so like the fact that you've already seen that he's gotten better he's like learned over time he's shown that he can win a playoff game that he's got a cool attitude he's making progress like it's like you know what you got to risk it just like pay him hope it works out if it doesn't like i don't think he's gonna be bad like he'd probably be okay but you gotta you have to do it uh yeah. which speaking of we have another quarterback who wants to get paid this offseason that has been waiting for other quarterback deals, Dak Prescott. Uh, mm. And uh, he mm. wants a contract from Dallas. Dallas is like, uh, uh, maybe uh. not. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. But uh, I think like he doesn't like he might hold out. I think if he doesn't get a new deal, like it's getting kind of crazy. And he wants more than Tua and Jordan Love got. Like he probably wants 60 that million. Makes sense. Yeah. Didn't Dallas get uh who was it, Trey Lance? Did they get? They did. So well, I it's mean, Trey Lance season. <laughs> could be Trey Lance season. I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know, man. Dak Dak Prescott's literally the regular season hero. Like, yeah. I don't know, man. Like I that man cannot <laughs> operate in the playoffs whatsoever. Yeah. That's Tony I think Romo that's all over again. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the biggest concern they have. Like, they're like, okay, he's good. But then he's not winning in the playoffs. So it's like you want to pay him all this money just to you know, be like, woo. You would think Dallas would because they wouldn't give a shit. Be like, woo, regular season money ticket sales. But uh, I don't know. Because, like, you, if you don't pay him, what are you going to do? Go to Trey Lance or something? I don't know. Like, it feels like you have to pay him, too. You also don't even have uh, the Chiefs as an excuse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you really don't. Uh, that's the other thing. It's like, I don't mind the Packers paying Jordan Love here. He's like, the quarterback price is just going to keep going up, especially with all yeah. these like TV deals and all this shit and the cap going. Like, it's just going to be like, Dax will make 60 million. The next year, it'll be like, Brock Purdy's going to like 65 million or some shit. It's just going to like, like, it's not going down. I'll yeah. tell you that much. Well, as long, as long as the cap keeps going up, the QB's uh, pay will keep going up. Although, yeah. I do wonder if, because I know that the percentage of overall cap used for qbs has actually gone up mm -hmm. in like the past 10 ish years so i don't know i wonder what that you know what the numbers look like this year yeah it's i actually don't know what it was i know it went up but uh, i don't know yeah well, well yeah because it's like it, it can it, it, like it, it can go up but not if it doesn't like on average increase the percentage of like if the qbs cap cost is like 30 percent or whatever yeah of the whole cap and yeah. it is a huge chunk plus these days. um a lot of these deals are really like structured uh with like structured with strategy almost like i know the love deal they kind of front load they either front loaded or back load. i think they back loaded it so that yeah, that's usually what they do yeah they back load it and then they're like once we hit year three where they owe him like 70 million dollars they're like let's restructure again <laughs> like yeah. so they just keep restructuring it and so that's that's what ends up happening 
so I think there's a bunch of like rules too in the NFL stuff, like contract shit. It's a whole intricate labyrinthian bureaucratic system where it, there's like it a is. bunch of like weird rules that that uh, allow teams to do that only so much or like within a certain time period or something. I've, I've you know I know vaguely of it. Yeah, it's so I think even he's supposed to be like thirty something million this year. So it's not even like 55 million or whatever it would be or 52. Right. So uh, the we'll see. I mean, it's I'm I'm fine as long as we're listen. I had like seven games where we kind of sucked. That was terrible. So thank mm-hmm. God we moved on from that. Uh, but let's talk about another quarterback situation. We got the Steelers, Justin Fields and Russell Wilson. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so <laughs> after just. This. Even looking at it, they're like, ESPN predicts Justin Fields starts week one. And then Sports Illustrated said, Russell Wilson, heavily favored over Fields to be named Steelers <laughs> starter. And I'm like, I don't think anybody knows he's starting. No, I think that just betrays exactly what uh, sports media journalism is, which yep. is just make some shit up and mm-hmm. say like, oh, yes, you know, sources, rumors were said that uh, this thing that I wanted to happen, happened. Yeah, create uh, the narrative. Right, exactly. I would be uh, genuinely fucking flabbergasted if Wilson does not start week one. Yeah, no, that yeah. would be absurd if it's if it's uh, <laughs> Justin yeah. Fields. Yeah. If you asked the NFL subreddit, they would tell you Justin Fields is the worst quarterback of all time ever, <laughs> and he actually eats his own poop. Like, it's crazy <laughs> how yeah. bad they think he is. And so, mm. I, I don't know, like, how much of his suckage was Bears and how much was it him is is the magical question. Yeah. And I well, don't think anyone has that answer. If you pretend to know that answer, I think you're not smart and you are in your own ass. <laughs> As a fan of the Jets, I <laughs> right. will say that you can seriously fuck a dude up mm-hmm. like that in if you if you if you, you know, have a horrible team in his early career. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I believe we I believe the Jets are responsible for the end of many promising young men's careers yeah, it took geno smith um, like 10 years to get out of that right? from the jet <laughs> yeah exactly and he only like barely did it <laughs> i mean you know yeah it's it's uh it can be it can be rough but it's not impossible like i think the the most notable example is like drew Brees. i, I will you know he wasn't bad in his first couple of years but he wasn't drew Brees like he was on the saints you know what i mean yeah uh once he got traded and that was like i don't know like four years in or something yeah. so it happens or it has happened mm-hmm. <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah it's uh i mean after i watched him a lot as the bears just because they were on tv and i was like well i guess i'll watch him uh like i don't think he's bad it's just he I think he has slow reads, which definitely plays into it. So he gets sacked a lot, fumbles a lot, but he yeah. has the ability to escape and make crazy plays with his feet, which is the main yeah. reason you have him. Uh, so if, I mean, if they can coach him up to just get better reads, maybe it's the system, maybe the Bears offensive system just sucked ass, which is strongly possible. Uh, yeah. You know, and maybe they just play into it more. Maybe they do like more play action with the Steelers. They have a better run game. They do so like, I don't know. I think, honestly, yeah, probably what I would do is I would start Russell Wilson, see how he does, maybe do some, like, packages where you bring in fields for, like, some wacky, wild plays to confuse the defense or something. Maybe just, I don't know, play around with it. They'll figure something out and then just see what happens. I'm sure Russell Wilson will get hurt at some point and he'll have to come in anyway. Apollo, you know. question mm-hmm. for you. Mm-hmm. Have the Steelers ever run Wildcat packages before? Not for a while. I'm trying to think like. But it has how, happened. Uh, uh, the Steelers are not really a weird play team. They really just don't yeah. do that. I mean, we've really been a uh, no play team for a while. On offense, <laughs> yeah. So it's hard for me to remember anything this team has done. So I mean, when we had Ben, like it was just Ben take ball, Ben throw ball. Like yeah, that was right. the playbook. Like that's all he did. So we didn't need <laughs> to do a wildcat. Well, it was always um, a it was always a heavy running game too right mm, so uh it depends there's different eras like we had like the best receiving core in the league like for many years right, fair, and yeah. so and, like, there's Heinz a lot Ward of 
Plexco mm. Burrs. Yeah, and then into Antonio Brown pre CTE and like. <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, I, I mean, who else? Uh, Mike Wallace was really good with us when we oh, had yeah, him. Yeah, like, yeah. uh, San Antonio Holmes. I don't know. Oh, if yeah, that, San Antonio yeah. Holmes. Uh, Constant good receivers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and then so so yeah, it's really just been a lot of like generic football but i don't i don't know i don't know if they're going to bring in the steelers are boring in that way like they're yeah. they're just kind of boring and that they don't i guess it's going to come down to what's his face do we hired as oc old, oh old yeah tennessee arthur... i almost said mike munchak that's too old <laughs> arthur, smith? arthur smith yeah yeah so i guess you should ask him over me what did he right. do because he's our coordinator now yeah, yeah I, don't I don't know, know what I, he I'm did i'm not sure if he's ever done any wildcat stuff Mm, yeah, Derrick Henry, I, I think, I, I think, think so, did, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, guys, Derrick Henry so threw might, the damn ball at yeah. some point. I mean, they might do that. I mean, he he would be excellent in a wildcat since he's you know it's already. I a, a I would not be opposed to it, but I do I do hope that if Russell Wilson goes out there and is just too old and can't do anything, that we switch to Fields because yeah. I don't care if Fields is bad; he's young and I, and he at least won't be boring. Yeah, he's more like, exciting. I, I don't like watching Ben in his late years was the most boring shit. Like he couldn't <laughs> yeah. evade sacks anymore. So instead of him doing these crazy like sack evasion plays into like 40 yard bombs, it was just like, oh, no, I and he fell over and got back. Like, <laughs> I am dead. Yeah, he was yeah. completely destroyed by the end of it. So I don't I don't want to watch that again. I don't want to watch a quarterback who's too old to play anymore. So I don't know if Russell Wilson is that. We'll find out in like two games. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we sure will. Uh, speaking because, of because oh to, before we move on to the Steelers I think they have the literal hardest schedule I've ever seen ever like it's ridiculous let me oh, let me yeah. let me read yeah, this out see. for you guys um so it's not too too bad at the start but it's like all like teams that we're not sure how good or bad they'll be yet right yeah um so we have Atlanta who's gonna be probably good now yeah. Kirk Cousins and all that mm. uh, we have Denver which is kind of a question mark probably not great. Yeah, and then we have the Chargers, who still, you know, are always average or better. Yeah, like, they got Harbaugh now. Yeah, and they have Harbaugh. Uh, yeah, Indy, yeah. Indy's much improved, as we saw. They'll have uh, Richardson back, so yeah. oh, Indy's that'll not... be exciting. Actually, I forgot. And, about that. And, yeah. and we haven't even gotten to the psycho part of our schedule. Then we have Dallas, who's obviously going to be good. Yeah, Vegas is probably our easiest game. Yep, maybe either Vegas or or the Giants, one of the two. Mm -hmm. And then the Jets, who. Should I mean, who good. fucking knows? It's the Jets. <laughs> who knows by, hey, by that time? But then yeah. here's what happens. Then we have the bye week, okay? And then after a probably mid-Washington game, we have every single divisional game in the second half. It is yeah. Ravens, Browns, Bengals, Browns, Eagles, Ravens, Chiefs, Bengals. That's oh our God. end of the season. Holy <laughs> fuck. Yeah, yeah that is. going to be. That's that's kind of six, insane. Six out of our eight last games are all of our divisional games. And in, and in that division, that's going to be. And <laughs> what is the toughest division in football? Yeah, it's yeah. it's probably going to swing thought, every week. Oh, yeah. And then on top thought of that, that was a good idea. Mixing in the Eagles Chiefs just for fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eagles Chiefs. Who are going to be uh, like playoff teams. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's it's oh. the most psychotic schedule I've ever seen. Now. I will mention, and this is important to note going forward into this next season, as we yep. often do, uh, that the strength of schedule for today isn't really isn't the real strength of schedule that they'll that end true, up yep. with at the end of the season, and often it varies quite significantly. Where like teams, but that, that's will... where the schedule is hard anyway, is because of the divi divisional games are oh, the yeah. exception. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I mean, like, I yeah. agree. Just in general, I'm just, I'm just saying, just in general, you know. Rob, I too hope the Chiefs it. suck this year. I too also <laughs> hope this. Look, if we speak it true, we'll make it true. <laughs> um, it's always happened. Yeah, and also I just wanted to point out that uh, the Jets' first game is the San Francisco 49ers. Yeah, I had that, so, had, that yeah. had that last year, bud. Had that last year. It'll be fine. Yeah, how's That's Aaron Rodgers so do against the 49ers? Uh, <laughs> out of curiosity. I've never seen it happen, but, you know. Is Aaron Rodgers even healed yet? I feel like I we, we kind of no we got all this talk of him healed. playing last year, and I feel like we still haven't even seen him, like, throw the ball yet yeah. or something. I was going to... Say, say uh, now speaking of old quarterbacks after the Roethlisberger, <laughs> Aaron Rodgers mm -hmm. and the New York yep. Jets. Yep. Um, yep. So Especially I have seen, old. I have seen Aaron Rodgers. He is throwing the ball. 
Oh boy. Uh, he also, I saw, got his foot stepped on and mm-hmm. yelled at somebody. Oh no. <laughs> uh and they said rogers first int of camp he hit lazard over the middle on an in route lazard dropped one right in his hands popped up in the air and chuck clark got it why the fuck are we <laughs> still running plays with alan lazard <laughs> he's hey, he... with rogers <laughs> That's, oh, he's I also just... good at blocking lazard's a good blocker yeah well then That's... he should stop throwing at him <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah uh, that's yeah. the they, speaking of things. Someone said Justin Fields had a really good throw, but I didn't see it. I just people kept talking about it. And I'm like, why are you not posting a video? I need a video <laughs> yeah. to see this throw. I mean, this is this is this is like some peak off season kind of shit. It is. It's, <laughs> like, it's like every tree had camp. the best training camp of his life. <laughs> yeah, like um, they're fucking. I everyone's always like, dude, he's having a good training camp. They did that Caleb Williams. Like, dude, Caleb Williams doing pretty yeah. good training camp. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> like every <laughs> yeah. quarterback has a good training camp. And except like the shittiest ones or like really good defenses or something like it's like the preseason too. ever like oh man look at him ball out in the preseason it's like i don't care yeah. <laughs> i'm uh i'm seeing that uh that aaron Rodgers will not appear in the first two preseason games yeah uh, which makes sense it does it make sense. only make more sense for aaron Rodgers to be injured on the first preseason game <laughs> Of course, yeah. <laughs> just to get it out of the way even earlier now. <laughs> it's so funny. It's just, the there's, funniest thing. there's no way it would happen again, right? Oh, man, God, that would just The be... universe has the chance to do the funniest <laughs> thing, man. <laughs> it really does. It's just... Oh, man. I just... I can't believe after last season where we were like, Rob, this is it. You finally get <laughs> to watch a fun team with a good quarterback play football and then it just it just yep. like uh, in classic jets fashion like i within, i couldn't believe uh, it yeah no yeah within minutes he, he even came out with the flag and <laughs> yep, i'm, the I'm flag. seriously whenever i whenever I see, if i see someone holding a flag i just uh, that's what i imagine is aaron roger yeah <laughs> <I'm seeing laughs> fucking flag open. dude i uh yeah no i have no hope this season I have. Uh, <laughs> that's right. that's I, like every season, though. <laughs> yeah, I, I've pretty much accepted that uh, this is going to be a lost season. Whatever, I don't know how. Maybe <laughs> uh, a piano will comically fall on Aaron <laughs> Rodgers' head, uh, and then he'll erupt from it, and his teeth will be piano keys. You know, like I don't know, yeah. something like that will happen, and uh, the Jets will will. It, it, this is not. It's not going to work with this orientation and this. <laughs> group of people uh but uh but if we if we do things then i'll be pleasantly surprised you know what i mean yeah that way you know if you expect nothing and something happens then you're happy Mm -hmm. yeah you can't be disappointed motto on life (laughs) (laughs) uh and apparently one day ago rogers was livid at sloppy jets during practice which i love the phrase sloppy jets (laughs) That yeah, sounds jets. like a like a, a, a sandwich. That <laughs> it does. One well, sloppy jet. Uh, I don't even know what that would be. That sounds gross, honestly. Kind of like a sloppy Joe, but with I, more disappointment. And <laughs> yeah, more oil. <laughs> it's re- it really makes you feel bad afterwards. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if it doesn't, then that's not a sloppy jet. Maybe it's like a has a metallic flavor. So it, you know, maybe it's like made of blood pudding. Yeah, it, it makes it so some part of your body will get injured after eating it. Right, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, those are those are the main stories I've picked up on here. So I figured now we can do our classic uh, thing where we go through every division and say, who's going to finish where? Uh, and yeah. it, it never ends up accurate. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> I think this I might think be much harder than last year too. I think so. There's there was a much significant or a much larger shift, I think, in quality of teams between this year and last year than last year and the year before that. Yeah, yeah. I like even the bad teams feel like they can beat like anybody on any given day. Well, we also point. have a bunch of new quarterbacks as well. Yeah, which that's I true. think always is that's weird. I, I gotta mm. like, yeah, I'm zone in to the football mindset too. Like I've just been off the stream. Yeah. Yeah, it. like it's training camp, dude. You gotta mm-hmm. get it, get in there, recalibrate. Right, exactly. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, Hall of Fame game is this week, and oh, okay. uh, 
they they funnily enough they market it like texas chicago caleb williams cj stroud neither of them are playing nope so <laughs> that's just the blatant lie on there what uh who's uh who got in this year i didn't uh see what the hall of fame oh oh the actual hall of fame i actually don't know yeah i didn't i didn't pay attention to it uh, Hall of Fame NFL 2024 was, uh, wait, did it even meet the new members? Okay, here it is. They better not autoplay some shit. <laughs> uh, Dwight Farini. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, I know Dwight cool. Farini. I yeah, know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Randy <laughs> <laughs> Gratishar is a Bronco from the 70s, so no idea. Okay, right. Yeah. Um, Devin Hester. Oh, oh cool. I mean, you gotta, you gotta put Devin yeah. as best I mean, return man of all time. Yeah, yeah I, I, no one else. Yeah, uh, Andre Johnson. Oh, oh really? Wow, okay. Yeah, I didn't I mean, know he was eligible already. I guess he was 2003. Like, he was one of the first Houston Texans. So yeah, I yeah. thought he played That's a long six, time. What is it? it what's he did. He played till 2016. Yeah. So was, again, I, I mean, I remember him beating the shit out of uh, what's his face. Oh, what, oh, what's that Titans cornerback? Oh, like, yeah, I know who you meant. Where they got in that, that fight. Uh, yeah, it was like one of the best NFL fights. <laughs> it was a... Uh, oh, my God. Wait, what was his name? He had the, cur the short curly hair. Wow, yeah. What was his fucking name? I don't remember this at all. In the fight. It'll pop up. It was like Cordero. It started with a C, I think. Uh, oh, Cortland he, he Finnegan. A, Cortland right. Finnegan. Yeah. Yeah, Cortland Finnegan. <laughs> Absolutely uh, toasted his ass. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. That was uh, 13 years ago. Oh, my God. That sucks. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I was watching that in a, I think, a BJ's with, uh, with, with, some, with some people, and everyone in the BJ's uh, jumped up and cheered when it happened. <laughs> yeah. so it, was, it was a BJ's in Houston. Ah. Ah, yeah. Um, we had Steve McMichael, uh, Julius Peppers. Yo, oh, yeah. okay. Julius Peppers. He played with the Packers yeah. a bit. Almost got into a Super Bowl until that Seattle game. Woo! Oh, uh, he was with the, the Panthers, right? Yeah, or Panthers, Bears, Packers. I was going to say, I thought it was okay. Bears, but yeah. I guess it was he both. Went yeah. Panthers yeah. from 2002 to 2009, and then right. Bears 2010, 2013, Packers 2014, 2016, and he went back to the Panthers for a couple of years. Yeah. So, he played a long time. Mm. Uh, and then Patrick Willis, 49ers. Mm. He only played seven years, but. Dude was really yeah. good, so yeah, that was the that was it. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Uh, also, oh, I forgot to mention the onside kick rules were more clarified. Oh so, yeah, let's tell me, tell yeah. me. I didn't know. With the new NFL kickoff rules, that's right. We got the new kickoff too. Uh, onside mm. kicks are illegal before the fourth quarter. That's the weird one. Like what? that is that is weird. All the other ones make sense. That one doesn't make any yeah, sense. That's very Team stupid. must be losing to do an onside kick. Like, all right. Uh, that one doesn't matter because really... a winning team would never do an onside <laughs> yeah. kick. No, no, they do. They do that. It like as trick like plays. The, like, well, yeah, no, you can't. Do, but that's the pro You can't do a trick onside kick anymore. It's literally impossible with the new rules. Yeah, yeah, that's stupid. And team must announce intention to do it. Because yeah, mm. so. Yeah, the, so they just want to like eliminate the onside kick. Why don't they just remove it? That's well, because you the, still have to be able to do it at the end of a game. Yeah, yeah but they should just do they should they should just do the do either the Skiano proposal or something. You know, yeah. something else. Well, we said we you talk about I mean? this like every year now, and it's like, yeah. please. I mean, like because they keep nerfing it to the point every patch they nerf yeah. it, and <laughs> they, it, they, and it's already <laughs> nobody uses it. So yeah. like. <laughs> just get rid of it and replace it with something else. Yeah. Because like, you do need a comeback mechanic. Yeah. So, you know. Rework this onside kick champion, please. Right. Yeah, please. <laughs> uh, they maybe... need to get some actual game developers in there. That would be a good <laughs> yeah. idea, honestly. Yeah. Um, I wonder, did they do any other new NFL rules? Well, you guys, I, I've forgotten now. What What is the new kickoff? Two. It's, it's they line up like right at where the ball lands, but like you're just lined up on both sides. There's no running, so basically where they would usually meet, they're just lined up there now. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So it's like a punt. Yeah, it's like yeah. the the XFL thing. Right, I mean, right, right. It's not so. quite a punt. It's it's still a kickoff. It's just no, but I mean, of, 
the 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 lineup is like a like a punt, no because that's what they do in a punt. oh well, you, well yeah it's like a punt but it's moved way downfield i guess that's right where, right yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I mean i, I imagine they'll, yeah and i imagine i would guess that i mean i don't know i guess we'll see but i mean i would imagine that coaches are gonna run it kind of like a punt they'll probably have the same kind of gunner set up well yeah, you can't you know? kick it out the back of the end zone now right you get punished yeah, for doing that i don't that. think you can so oh, really it's so it says kickoff rule adjustment to create a new form of free kick play that is designed to reassemble a typical scrimmage play by aligning Resemble. players <laughs> on both teams closer together and restricting movement to reduce space and speed and to promote more returns. So uh -huh. I think it's a combination of they want more kickoffs returned instead of just out of the right. end zone again. And they also want to reduce having guys run each other from downfield at like yeah. 80 miles an hour and then crashing into each other. That's the big issue. That's, that's why they get injured so much. Yeah. On it. So you reduce injury and you create more kickoffs promoting just safer, more fun kickoffs, which yeah. I'm fine with that. Like, I think it'll be good. That, that seems like a good rule. I see. I'm cool with that. Whoever was the designer yeah. that got that one, talk to him, get him yeah. to, on the onside kicks now. But this was like the perfect time to be like, Hey guys, let's just get rid of the onside kick and do fun <laughs> offense. <laughs> something. <laughs> no, let's not do that. Uh, so then we also have the hip drop tackle. That's so, going to be the weird one. That's going to be the uh, weird one. They have removed the that? hip drop tackle. A hip drop tackle occurs when a defender wraps up the ball carrier, rotates or swivels his hips, unweighting himself and dropping onto the ball carrier's legs. So it's going to be so, so like, annoying. When they lift people that that one. No, it's it's basically like they grab you by the hips, twist uh, you and then land on your legs as you're falling down. Yeah. So it was, oh, man, yeah. A, How the fuck are they gonna not do that? It, yeah. A lot of pieces is a controversial one because it's a very common tackle and it's very effective against like larger dudes, like yeah. tight ends and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so I don't know. It's gonna be weird. Yeah. It's... I mean, I feel like you know. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, because this doesn't that doesn't that basically incentivize spearing the knees? Probably, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> for every rule they make they do invent like a new way yeah. to murder someone else right so. yeah like i mean like if that if you can't do that if you can't i mean yeah you would just spear at the knees right like that's the only you take out their feet that's the only thing you could do yeah because if you're a smaller dude trying to tackle a big guy you wrap them up and then you just try to use your weight and just drop to bring them down so like yeah i yeah, yeah you got to take their knees out then <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be worse. Yeah, <laughs> like, so. you're going to get a fucking <laughs> flying spear. We're going to go back to the Troy Palomalu days. People are going to fly across the field at fucking uh, Kelsey's you know, <laughs> ankle. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm sure something great will come of this, and then they'll have to change it. There's going to be a terrible penalty that's called, and it's just going to be awful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Probably in week one. Oh, well, it'll be the, so. that'll be the main story of week one. Yeah. Uh, then we have other approved rules by Detroit amends rule 15, section one, article one to oh, protect shit. a club's ability to challenge a third ruling following one successful challenge. So I guess you get a third you get an, challenge, you get another challenge. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then we got competition committee to allow for an enforcement of a major foul by the offense prior to a change of possession in a situation where there are fouls by both teams. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, wait. To Hold allow on. for an enforcement of a major foul. What the hell does that even mean? By the so, off. <laughs> uh, so, so if if they can, if they do, they can't cancel out anymore. Is that what that's saying? So that the the offense takes the foul if it's major. That's what I was. That's what I think it is. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. If yeah, that's what be. that if that if that's what that means, that's like a. That's a buff to defense. That's yeah, that's, that's a defense buff right there. Yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't seen them do that in a while. Uh, we have to include a ruling of a passer down by contact or out of bounds before throwing a pass as a reviewable play. Cool. I don't know why okay. we just don't allow everything to be reviewable, but yeah, that's good. It's very stupid. Uh, to allow a replay review when there is a clear and obvious, obvious visual evidence that the game clock expired before any snap. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Uh, that should probably just be a thing that they do, and I you mean, don't have to challenge it. 
I, I don't know though. Like it's just. I guess it does say so, replay review. So but so yeah. Like if we're if we're imagining the situation, right? Like like mm-hmm. let, let's let's imagine this. They let the clock run out. It hit zeros. Play went on. Say a big big play happened. Touchdown. Right. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, then other coach challenges it. They go, they look at it, and yeah, the the play clock just hit zero. And and what are they gonna t- they're gonna take it back? People are gonna fucking hate that. I mean, if the clock expired, yeah, <laughs> that's true. But I mean, I but but you know, like uh, the the refs have done that for a long time of like giving a bit of leeway after. Well, this zero. is this isn't the the play clock. This is the game clock. So like the third quarter has ended oh, and they let the play go because this actually happened in the Packers Lions game last year where the Packers got it off, but the, it was clear the game clock expired. It was going to like the end of the third quarter and they threw for like right. a touchdown and the Lions were like, what the shit? And they're like, oh, whatever. Can't can't, can't challenge it. So it's right. it's for that specific because the play clock. Yeah, they usually the they manage it with the leeway and everything. Right, right. Um, so yeah, that's specifically game clock, which is fine. Cool. Yeah, I know that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, and then that's that's pretty much it. So, big yeah. changes are just the the kickoff and the the tackle. That so a big update. Yeah, big patch. Big, big patch. <laughs> yeah, big patch, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to see the uh, the in season patches if anything gets you know reverted. Right. That does uh, happen sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> they, give, they do hot fixes. Yeah, they dude. That was like they remember the year they did the the quarterback roughing the passer like way yeah. too much. That was. That was bad. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there would be actual roughing the passer, and they just didn't call it. Great stuff. Yeah. Uh, so here we go. Breaking down these standings, starting with the AFC East. Who do we got winning the AFC East and <sighs> following? <laughs> the Bills just lost their entire defense. They did, yep. Yeah. And, like... Uh, I don't know. It's still Josh Allen. It is still Josh Allen. And, and, and then now like you have... Playing there now. He's on Houston. Well, then, oh, yeah, right. he certainly Diggs got doesn't. Houston. Yeah. I yep. totally forgot. <laughs> yeah, their their offense is all fucked up, too. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how I forgot about that trade. So I don't think it's going to be the Bills, but then like now you, then you have Miami and New York. It's not going to be the Patriots. You have Miami and New York. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wait, like, the, it, the Patriots got a QB, right? They yeah. did, but... They got Drake May. I don't know. I don't believe in them at all <laughs> until further notice. <laughs> that uh, would be the worst. Can you imagine if the Patriot if Drake May's like really good and the Patriots win? <laughs> oh, I would hate everything. Dude, that's I, the worst possible scenario. So I'm gonna guess the Patriots. That's what I'm gonna say. I do I'm, think Drake May's gonna be good. I don't know if it's gonna be this year, but I do think it'll be good. I'll yeah. have some actual faith in the Jets, Rob. I'm sorry if this is considered a curse. I'm going to say <laughs> the Jets know. are going to win. Oh, man, wow. he's doing it. I'm going to say the Dolphins get second, Bills third, Pats fourth. Oh, you uh, know, I would be happy with that, but I, I've i been I've been here before. <laughs> Again, it's just the Jets' defense is just too good. Our defense and, is really good. Their offense is also too good, minus quarterback, to not have Aaron Rodgers give them a playoff spot. It doesn't. The, the math don't work. Yeah. yeah. The uh, the Bills also did bring in Marquez Valdez Scantling and oh Curtis Samuel from Washington. Oh, that's not bad. Mm. Yeah, it's actually not bad. They do still have like some receivers. Curtis Samuel is actually not bad. So yeah. I I, I yeah. think that's that's workable. I think. Ah, that's that's a tough division. I'm gonna keep it the way I got it though. Yeah, uh, yeah. and then they J E T S uh, Jets Jets Jets. <laughs> they also drafted Keon Coleman, a receiver, in like the second round. I thought you were gonna say Keanu Reeves, dude. I don't they know also why. drafted <laughs> Keanu Reeves, so that's why I the mean, Bills will be. Did you division. see John Wick? He could fuck people up. I mean, I'm <laughs> yeah, just saying, man. you know. Yeah. Um, I. Oh man, I kind of want to say the Dolphins are gonna win it. That oh. And I am. I think the Dolphins are going to win it. And then I'm going to go Jets, Bills, Patriots. Okay. And I like the Bills. I want the Bills. But I, I just think it's going to be Dolphins, Jets. I think the Jets are there, but yeah, it'll probably be close. I think the Jets could probably win it too, but I'm just going to say Dolphins just because I think I, I think their offense more high-powered. They'll probably get an extra win or two. 
Uh, I didn't. Give I think you that's my reasonable. Order, I think it's reasonable. Right? What was that, Rob? Uh, sorry. Uh, I didn't give you the my order, right? In I don't the, think you uh, did. No. Okay, so I'm just going with worst case scenario. All right, great. Let's go with uh, Patriots number one. Yep. Then, ah, who would I least like to see? <laughs> I guess Bills, Dolphins, Jets. All right, that would be that would be the worst. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. They can only go up from here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then we have the AFC North. Fuck, man. This, yeah, this really is like, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the Bengals with Joe Burrow are angry and they're gonna come back and win the division. Then I'm gonna go Ravens, Steelers, Browns, just because Browns. I think this is, this is, this is a division where all four teams could make the playoffs. They could, yeah. It's it sucks. Yeah. Yep. Although, I yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think I think the Bengals got it. I'm going to say Ravens mm. and then no. And then <laughs> yeah. Uh, fuck man. Yeah. yeah. This division's terrible. Mm. I'll say Ravens, Bengals, Steelers, Browns. All right. I'm going to say Ravens, Steelers, Bengals, Browns. That's what I was right. really between. Yeah, and I think that could be very. Much I think I, I, yep. I haven't talked too much about it, but the Steelers had another stupidly good draft, like stupidly good draft. So I yeah. think that the defense is going to be even better this year. Our biggest weakness was linebacker, and yeah. we signed Patrick Queen, and we drafted a absolute steal linebacker who I can't remember his name. Mm. but he is so fast and he's scary. And I think he's already done some cool stuff in training camp. If I'm not mistaken, mm. I got to remember his name, but uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm very excited about our defense this year. Yeah. yeah that's the I reason mean, I would trust the Steelers just from the defense. Well, the, the only reason, so the reason that I, cause I was between that and, and what you, the, my, what I said and what you said, of flipping those two between the Bengals and the Steelers. The only reason that I went towards the Bengals was because uh, I think because we haven't seen the Joe Burrow Jamal Ch uh, J Jamar Chase connection right yep. in a while in like a year. So if that goes, then I could see them doing some good things. But yeah. if not, then I think it would be the Steelers. Yeah, I. I, I, I just trust the Bengals are going to come back and be good, but they might not be. I don't know. It's it's the Bengals. It's a, it's a hard know? division, though. But yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a terrible division. Yeah. Uh, then we have the AFC South. Uh, mm. I think everyone will pick Houston to win it at this yeah. point. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go Houston. I'm going to go. It's either Colts, Jaguars, and then Titans. The I last. mean. Sophomore slump is a thing. It could happen. It could happen to the best happen. of us. It could happen. Give me Houston, Indy, Jacksonville, Tennessee. All right. I'm going to um, go Houston, Jacksonville, Colts, Titans. But I think the Jaguars rebound. I actually think I'm going with exactly with what Apollo just said, which is Houston, Indy, Jacksonville, and uh, Tennessee. Yeah. And I don't even and, think Tennessee's like terrible. I just think they're not there yet. Incidentally, but, by the way, that's also alphabetical order for the division. <laughs> it is. <laughs> if we're right. <laughs> that is true. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's, I think it's one of the easier divisions to predict. The watch will look back and be like, oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Titans are good. What happened? <laughs> uh, AFC West. Oh, boy. I'm gonna pick the Chiefs just cause. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I don't have faith Chiefs. in any of these other teams. Well, so. I mean, I don't know, man. The Harbaugh <laughs> Chargers. Yeah, but know? they lost all of their offensive weapons. Yeah, but they gained a Harbaugh. They, they lost <laughs> they Keenan Allen. They lost Mike Williams. Like, he's but he's weird and he chews gum. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. The Jets have Mike Williams. Kind of weird. Oh yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Actually, the Jets. I, I, 
again, if I weren't completely devoid of any hope for the season, <laughs> I would say that on paper, our Jets, the Jets receiving core looks really good, actually. Yeah. I uh, hopefully it is, but you know, I'm um, I'm gonna go Chiefs, Chargers, Raiders, Broncos, the Braiders, the Braiders. <laughs> um, I will do Chiefs, Chargers, Broncos, Raiders. Oh, I will. I think the Raiders wait. are gonna be stinky, stinky bad. Who? Uh, they don't have a quarterback. Who, who's yeah? Who's the QB on on uh, Denver? Bo Nix uh, is leading Bo the race Nix. with Zach Wilson as the second stringer. <laughs> okay, wait, no, the Broncos are going to be in last. I'm yeah. sorry. That's why uh, they're like, folks, Bo Nix is doing really well in training camp. I'm like, well, yeah, he's going up against Zach Wilson and like whoever the fuck else. Uh, yeah, all right. So I'm going to go uh, Chiefs, Chargers, Raiders, Broncos. Although, uh, what is it? Derek Carr still and Devontae Adams, right? Over Derek Carr's in, uh, on the Raider. Saints. Their cars on the Saints and the yep. Raiders have Aiden O'Connell. Eight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yep. shit, man. Yeah, that's why I'm, I I <laughs> what a the Raiders last. I think I I have more yeah. faith in Bonex oh, than no, Aiden O'Connell. No, the Raiders got a uh, oh what's his name? Gardner Minshew. Still don't care. Okay. That. All right. Yeah. Um, I will, yeah. Yeah, they you also know what? lost. I'll stick to uh, it. I'll stick what I said. They also lost Josh Jacobs to the Packers, so they have no running back. Right. And uh, yeah, they're they're pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a depressing division. All right. Yeah, yep. yep. it's the Chiefs to lose, which sucks, <laughs> yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think, think the Chargers could. Hold on, I have it. a question. Is this what it looked like? For you guys, for the past thirty years with Tom Brady, <laughs> like, is this what the AFC East looked like? Because this is a depressing division mm -hmm. right here. You know, yeah. pretty much. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just that's <laughs> yeah. It's clearly, the Chiefs are going to win. Right? It is. Yeah, they like, they should win it. But I still think the Chargers. I mean, they got they got Herbert. You know. Yep. That's pretty good. <laughs> um, oh this boy. kind of feels like the Rex Ryan coming in yeah. and beating the Patriots <laughs> for two years. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, now we got one of our favorites, the NFC East. Oh, boy. This is if you yeah. want to talk about a chaos division. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it was the the Cowboys. Cowboys. So it won't be the Cowboys this year. Can't we know be the that Cowboys. Much. Yeah. Yep. Impossible. Yep. And the, um, the Eagles got Saquon, by the way. Don't forget that. Oh yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go Eagles just because I think they looked good until they shit themselves last year, and I think they're gonna right the ship. Yeah. So I'm gonna go. No, I mean, they have, they have Kenny Pickett now, man. That's true. They oh, got yeah. Kenny Pickett now. And well, and they had magic working against them last year. You know, that's yeah. a, that's a factor not here now because they're mm -hmm. free to win as much as they want. Yeah. Um, who's on the commander? I know they drafted, uh, Jaden Daniels, so he could be good. Uh huh. They got Terry McLaurin still. He's they got good. Austin Eckler, so they yeah. brought him in. That's pretty good. They got Zach Ertz. I mean, they got okay. some offensive stuff. Their defense. Yeah. They have Bobby Wagner on defense. The Seahawk. Guy. Interesting. That's kind of weird. From, yeah. Is it how? What? Uh, well, how old is he? He's like. Uh, 34. Okay. So, I don't know why yeah. he signed there. Maybe he just lives close by, or maybe he just yeah, got I mean, paid. I don't know. Getting a paycheck, yeah. Um, I could see the commanders actually taking second place if Jaden Daniels kind of comes into his own. Uh, <laughs> that would but, be wild. <laughs> uh, and you know what I'm going to do? Eagles, commanders, Cowboys, Giants. Oh, no way, man. The Cowboys <laughs> are regular season heroes. I'm going to keep really going that. against Magic, and I'm going to say Cowboys. Wow, 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 wow. That's I'm true. They go did Cowboys. go all in. They did go all yeah, in. Yeah, they went all they, in. Oh, wait. Hold yeah. on. That changes things a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I forgot that they went all in. Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to say Cowboys, Eagles, Commanders, Giants, which I think is maybe the same as it was last season. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Dude, the Cowboys, no, I think they brought you, back I think Ezekiel you also, Elliott. 
you went against magic last season as well i remember yeah 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 and i'm gonna keep going against magic until i can say that i'm right <laughs> Fair okay enough. well i mean you know as we've gone over it's been 20 something years you, you'll probably be right eventually <laughs> yeah but, I, um i don't know sorry go on i was just gonna say i don't trust the cowboys i know i i don't I, well like, first of all <laughs> highest order of my judgment here magic mm-hmm. right yeah of course yep putting putting that aside though mm-hmm. uh the eagles did i mean they they were the last undefeated team for like a long ass time right well yeah you know relative in uh football terms right like yeah. a couple of weeks mm-hmm. <laughs> but you know like that i think they they still got uh they still got the sauce going you know what i mean like I yeah think they can uh put it together so i will definitely go Eagles, Cowboys, Giants, Commander. All right. You trust the Giants yeah. more than the Commanders? Um, it's Daniel kind of wishful Jones. thinking. <laughs> hey, man, yeah. he's got straight line speed. If you <laughs> tell him to run just over there, he can get there. He'll run there and he'll trip <laughs> after 80 people. yards. <laughs> yeah. I will say the, the Giants do have a pretty good defense. They got Brian Burns from the Panthers, is really good. They got Dexter Lawrence, who's good. They got Thibodeau, who's good. Yeah. They they did lose their best safety to the Packers, so that's cool. They also uh, lost their best running back and didn't improve their offense at all, right? They got Malik Neighbors in the draft. He's supposed to be really okay. good. They got Bevin Singletary from the Bills Texans previously uh-huh. at running back. That's not that good mm-hmm. uh yeah oh, they're this is like a six win team <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like peak six win team I, I, I put them ahead of the camp commanders for wishful thinking you yeah know? like just at least one new york team maybe it was yeah. okay <laughs> well i just I, I see them at like six wins i see the commanders at like seven wins yeah yeah, yeah i can see that <laughs> will we ever not though isn't that just yeah. the, the commander's curse? Just oh, well, they used to win. They used to win Super yeah. Bowls. Back in the 90s. Well, I mean, yeah. they won the commanders then, though. That's true. That's actually yeah. a good point. Yeah. yeah. They were they more get, racist. They had RG3. Then. Maybe that's what they need. They need to bring the racism <laughs> no, no. back. <laughs> I don't want that to be the initial point I make upon the return of the show. <laughs> yeah. That's it. They need more races. <laughs> it's pretty clear, guys. <laughs> you look at the data. <laughs> um... All right, Bear, yeah, Bear gonna... what do you have for the NFCs? Oh, yeah, no, I was just going to ask. We're doing division previews? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Uh, all right, give me, give me, uh, it's, it's got to be magic, right? So no, mm-hmm. yep. no repeat from the Cowboys. Yep, exactly. so let's go yes. ahead and, yep. let's go ahead and throw the Eagles up there. We'll give the Giants just a wacky second place oh, this time oh, around just to mess things this guy's up. wacky. Mm-hmm. Go Eagles and then Commanders after that, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's speed run these other AFCs Cowboys for you commanders after that <laughs> sorry right yeah, yeah, yeah. Cowboys right, exactly uh let's see i mean this could actually be interesting this year yep i think the bills are gonna fall off a bit give me the mm. dolphins to win the division all right mm. i'll take the bills in second and oh man i'm sorry rob i'm gonna go pats yep. jets that's it's fair yeah <laughs> to be I, fair I, I rob mean, did patriots first jets last oh boy wow <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just was I was picking the worst possible uh, way that the universe could hurt me, yep. and uh, it seems like it, it's a likely outcome. <laughs> the old the old follow up approach, right? Yeah, no, yep. I get it. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, AFC North. Uh, let's see, ah, another kind of interesting one, isn't it? Yep. Uh, Browns on the bottom out of spite. Yep. And then we'll go. <laughs> we all put uh, them there anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I mean, really? Yeah. yeah. It's probably not a bad call. No. Yeah. Uh, honestly. Yep. Browns, Bengals, Steelers, Ravens in reverse order. So, oh, that's all right. confusing. Yeah, <laughs> that's the order I had. Yes, that's yeah, the order yeah. I had. I think the okay. Brown, like you know how people are always like, there's some teams win the Super Bowl with a mediocre quarterback. Like that is the Cleveland Browns. If <laughs> any, if they had any success, that's what they are. They are that team with like a really good defense, some yeah. like other guys, and then a quarterback where they're like, I guess <laughs> they can run the offense. Yeah, I mean, but, that was Super Bowl 40 for us. Ben was ass that year in the playoffs. Dude, imagine if they had, like, Baker Mayfield on the team. They'd be pretty good right <laughs> now, wouldn't they? 
Dude, I think I, I speaking of magic, I think the Browns are just cursed with the with the ghost of John Brown haunting them. I think for, so. Or yeah. was it John not Jim John Brown? Brown? No, no, yeah, no. Uh, uh, Paul <laughs> John Brown, Brown too. Yeah, John, John, yeah, Brown, John, John Brown's possible. haunting him too. He didn't like him. Yeah. It wasn't a bit, I mean he wasn't around at the time. But yeah. I mean he he really wouldn't have liked him if he was. Yeah. yeah, it was <laughs> No, I mean I I forgot I had legitimate uh, cause for I mean like I have two legitimate causes for anger against the Browns first for you know gestures broadly at everything but yeah. also like <laughs> the, the Baker Mayfield situation is fucking yeah. nonsense mm-hmm. it was and Paul Brown I mean think about what and they Paul did Brown. To Paul, Paul Brown, Brown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 and John that's Brown and, here, John, and Jim Brown <laughs> that's, yeah. what, that's what makes me think that Fields might still be good is the whole Mayfield thing people are like Baker Mayfield sucks the Browns got rid of him he sucks and it's yeah. like he was injured he was injured the whole yeah. time yeah, Fields played that whole season more outside the Mayfield too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, if he I mean, can just, if he can learn how to just throw better, then <laughs> <laughs> that, that'd be pretty good. <laughs> See, here's uh, what I like in my football <laughs> players: is good football skills. If those are there, <laughs> yeah. oh, baby, we're we're in business. Yeah. See, why don't they pay us the big bucks, guys? I they mean, really I feel like we got this world needs. Yeah. We know what's going on in the football world. We really do. I, I've missed our show. It's good to be back. I know. This is great. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what we were saying. It's it's football time, but it's not really football time, but it is football time kind of without being football time. Football. Yeah, that's right. That's AFC right. South. Give me the give me the Texans, baby. They're running yep. it back. Absolutely. Yep, yep. And, and the rest team. the rest and the rest don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just throw it in then. Just mix I mean, it up. Yeah, huh? Colts, Jags, Titans. All right, cool. Good. That's what I said. He's copying wow, me. Look at you. AFC you West. Piece of shit. <laughs> I was secretly Rage listening to before. Um, uh, I just don't want to, but the Chiefs are going to win their division yep. again. I just got to mm-hmm. accept. Yep, that's what we all do. Uh, Chiefs, Broncos, Chargers, Raiders. Wow, he's Broncos, a Bo Nix yeah, believer. Huh? Bo Nix believer. Uh, Harbaugh disbeliever. Yep. <laughs> In fact, give me the Chargers on the bottom, dude. Just wow, like, oh my god. I, I think LA's time is come and gone multiple <laughs> times, in fact. Wait, I mean the Chargers have a time. <laughs> they no, dude. Remember the Phillip Rivers era? They were they were perennial contenders. <laughs> yeah, and they never won shit. I know, but they should have. <laughs> dude, I picked the Chargers so something. many times that they would be champions if I if I was the decider. Um, <laughs> yeah. NFC North. Oh boy. Uh how about we'll throw Crendora Bone this year yes. and say they're gonna we're well, not gonna win the division. They're gonna get into that uh, right. into that uh, wild card playoff mm-hmm. race for sure though. So we'll go I'm just I'm gonna go for the repeat actually on this one. We're gonna go Lions, Packers, Vikings, Bears. I think they run it back same right. order this oh. year. Okay. And then we down to the south now? No, we didn't even do the north. Yeah, we haven't oh. done the north yet. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, this okay. is where we left okay. off. But you're first to bat, you know. Yeah. You, you can't okay, yeah. Good job. I'm. I'll go. This is my division. I'm gonna go Packers, Lions, Bears, Vikings. Okay. Okay. Yep. Um. Question. Yep. I forget. The Packers play in Green Bay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh yeah. And they what, they what food is it that they eat there? Was cheese. The, I, I believe goat. Oh, yeah, I cheese. thought it was oh, sausage. Yeah. No, you know? they actually do eat a lot of sausage. To be fair. Oh okay. Well, then they should be yeah. the sausage. You know? it's mushrooms. <laughs> they should put sausages on their heads. That'd be way cooler. That would be yeah. Cool, yeah. Um, like that. To be fair, the Brewers in baseball have sausage races. It's pretty funny. What is? I'm sorry. What is the sausage race? Oh, look up. Sausage I'll tell you race. when you're older. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you, is it a kind of thing if I don't know what it is, I can't afford it? So two guys <laughs> get just, naked uh, in a room. First one to be fully hard wins. <laughs> so just look up sausage race brewers in Google. You'll find it. There's you can't not use be any crazy. outside influences, okay? <laughs> it's just got to be you and your sausage, okay? <laughs> You'll see they have uh, the hot dog. No touching the other guy's sausage, all right? You can only touch your own sausage. <laughs> I actually think you can touch the other sausages in this race. That's it's not on the rule. MLB.com. This is yeah, an official. They, this is really? An official not race. Pornhub? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they well, got, I'm going to keep yeah. going with this bit until it's not funny anymore. I, I like that this guy is getting more enthusiastic about the rules yeah, as he's delivering. Them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really dude. Okay, hold on. Wait a second. I'm totally in for these sausage races. That's what oh, I'm hell saying. yeah, brother. You know, do you know who <laughs> has dominated the sausage race results? Who did? 
New the York? Italian sausage, oh, wow. baby. Ah, ah, hey. <laughs> Wow. Uh, yeah, second Marcus place. Marcus Mariota! Is... <laughs> this is the form. <laughs> Again, it's still much funnier if you just imagine they're talking about the thing I was talking about. Yes, like, yeah, well, time. yes, of course. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, the penis. Ro- Rob's yeah. reaction Whoa! Oh my God! Yeah, I'm so into this. <laughs> you do have the, the brat, the Polish, the Italian, the hot dog, and the chorizo. Those are the five yep. sausages of the race. At hot dog is uh, has had seven wins, but Italian sausage has eight, so it's put it over the top. So yep. hot dogs in second, mm-hmm. impressively. However, uh, the other ones have fallen uh, significantly b- behind. Polish sausage, otherwise known as kielbasa, uh, has only four wins. So, huh. uh, and then you got three and two for brats and chorizo. Mm. They were sad about Tenacious D breaking up. <laughs> There was yeah. an incident in 2003 where Randall Simon of the Pittsburgh Pirates uh, tried to use his bat to knock one of these sausages over. That's and uh, yep, he was arrested, fined, and suspended. <laughs> 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 the people really get into these sausage yep, races, huh? But uh, Mandy Block, who was in the actual sausage costume, laughed it off and said, I'm just a sausage. <laughs> So, <laughs> yep. It's an incredible quote. Holy shit. <laughs> it was fantastic. This, yeah, I mean, uh, this sounds like baseball. Really, Imagine the Packers need that. to news. interview the sausage guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's probably people. just like an athlete, right? Like just a runner. Yeah, right? I think oh, so. Yeah, probably. I, I think the Packers <laughs> should implement this, though. Like, they really should. Yeah, the awesome sausage races. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You can't have, you can't have problem, honestly. honestly. Um, uh, well, so I, I, the only my only gripe with the sausage race is that there's not enough real sausages involved. I, right. I would like more sausage. Pretty misleading. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. fair. Um, you need you guys need to pick the NFC North. Oh yeah. I'm oh, go. oh yeah. Lions, <laughs> Packers, uh, Bears, Vikings. Yeah, I'll go Lions, Packers, Vikings, Bears. All right. Who, but gotta, but, but actually, wait. No, before oh, we no, got the Bears on this might table, be good this year. Be, be careful. The Bears, remember, like I'm not, I, I'm not a Bears believer, but they. Well, based they on the have fact a, we all have them last, they're definitely going to succeed. I have, yeah, I, have, third, I, right? I had them third. All right, Vikings last. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm thing, warning you guys about believing in the Vikings over the Bears. Because remember, Bi- the Vikings, the Vikings. Yep, the Vikings, <laughs> the Vikings. The Vikings lost Kirk Cousins and. That's like, what was my question was yeah. actually. So I was so wait, who's the starter there now? JJ McCarthy and Sam no, Darnold. So they said they're gonna start Sam Darnold, which pisses me off. So <laughs> they deserve to lose. Right. I mean, well, that's usually what they do though, right? Like Yeah, the, you start the bad quarterback and then they lose you four games and you're like, okay, fine, now we'll start you waste time. You waste everybody's fucking time. <laughs> let me yeah. let me get one of these out of my system because it's been building All up right. for a little while. Darnold! He got it. There it is, dude. There I think he's gonna come on strong in the in Minnesota. I think come off love the field strong after his three interceptions in his first, <laughs> second game. I, uh, hey, hey, he's free of the Jets, the prison. So we'll he was see. already free. He did bad still, brother. <laughs> he was the well, warden. Yeah, you know, he didn't do terrible. He, did he didn't okay. do great. This is his best opportunity. He's got Justin Jefferson, which is a get out of jail free card for a quarterback. Yep. He's got yeah. Aaron Jones. And he's got TJ Hawkinson. So, like, there you go. You have three actual football players you can throw to. If you can't do well, yeah, that, that. That rookie or the, the was a rookie. Oh, Addison. Or Addison yeah. yeah. They've yeah, got Addison. a great offensive thing. Okay, so, if he so doesn't this do is a good. good. Yeah. I mean, he's got a He should out succeed. <laughs> he was, he was what? A, he was a backup in San Francisco. So, yeah. like, he's going to start now to start the year. So, that's, yep. you know. Yeah. There is the concern of Aaron Jones being almost 30, which, as we all know, once a running back turns 30, they yeah. disintegrate. And his hamstrings are also made either. out of like actual string. Like they're right. real bad. <laughs> uh, it's been like numerous hamstring injuries, which is, I think, the main reason they moved on. Uh, and yo, the Packers got Josh Jacobs. I'm ready. I think he's going to oh, have yeah, a massive that's fun. year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm excited for guys football. 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 They're doing it again. Can you believe yeah. it? I can't I crazy. Know. Also, People just uh, the Lions are just a good football team still. And yeah, then, they they somehow <laughs> didn't lose anything and only got better. Yeah, and yeah. then the the Bears are on hard knocks, so that's the hard knocks oh, team this year. Yeah, and I, isn't that premiered today or is that tomorrow? I think it's tomorrow. Oh. Um, but I'm listen. I don't believe in the bears. All right. And I don't like the bears, but I do think they made the right move 
going this direction. However, I still, I need to see Caleb Williams play like three games in the regular season before I'm like, I need to, I need to see if my college scouting was correct. Cause I don't believe in him still. Yeah. So in, in the interest of, uh, you know, uh, the people at home that are, uh, uh, have maybe forgotten, uh, mm -hmm. what happened in the off season, uh, could you re remind us of uh, the bears current situation? Ah, of course, for the people at home that have forgotten. Yeah, no, those ones, those yeah. people. They, they, those, you know, look, so, they, 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 they're a little slow. You gotta help yeah. them out, you know? Yeah, I'll help them, them out. Them, not me, them. Yeah, them. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they're probably Jets fans as well. So. Yeah, of course, yeah. those fuckers. So, you know? <laughs> the Bears moved on from Justin Fields. They traded him to Pittsburgh. Uh -huh. uh, then they drafted Caleb Williams with the first pick. That's they drafted right. Roma Dunze with the eighth pick, wide receiver. Uh -huh, then yep. they traded for Keenan Allen, mm. and they pretty much retooled just the offense. Their defense is pretty all right still, and that's that's the Bears. So they're very high. Head coach Matt Eberflus, right? Oh, so okay. yeah, the one thing they forgot to change. Yep. No, we're in the <laughs> we're in the Bears cycle. This is where they draft a the quarterback. Year later, they fire the coach because they're like the coach messed them up. Yeah. And then it's just you you repeat the cycle. You trade them to Pittsburgh, and then yep. it just it loops back around. So yep. my big issues with Caleb Williams from the five scouting games I did of watching every throw he made against mm -hmm. the uh, the good game, not like playing against like Ass Clown State, like, you know, <laughs> like <laughs> the, the actual colleges. Uh, he just didn't look like he had good awareness and he would just play hero ball. It reminded me of watching Aaron Rodgers when he was bad, like in his mm -hmm. bad. He would hold the ball too long, get sacked. He would fumble a lot. He would make bad reads and turn it over. People are like, his offensive line, his offensive line. I watched three straight plays, not three straight plays, but three plays in those five games where he got sacked from his visual side, not the blind side, the like visual side where you can see <laughs> the guy running at you. Okay. And yeah. it just like all that. But then he would like make some crazy ass throw where he like threw it behind his back. Like, whoa, or he like throws like yeah. an insane pass. So like, I think that's what people are banking on is that he's going to, you know, move past all the other stuff, and then he's got the arm talent and the ability to he's, make the he's throws. He's got the, the mojo moment potential. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's got the potential. Mm -hmm. It's just, I, if this was any other team and not the Bears, I would be <laughs> like, dude, this is probably great. Like, I think he has to sit for a year, but I just know for a fact. he This is, he's going to come out. He's going to be a rookie. He's going to have some learning curves. He's got to make it, like, every rookie quarterback is going to go through some yep. struggles and everything and picking up defense. And it's just like, how's he going to respond? Because when you're in this part, training camp's like the the honeymoon, like, la, 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 we're having fun. Everybody's good. Mm -hmm. Look, I made a throw in training camp and cool. But then once you get into the season and then you're, you're playing like starters, you got people scheming against you. They're finding your weaknesses. They're like, yeah, he's yeah. bad when he does this. And then things start falling apart and the media is just like, hey, why do you suck ass? You're supposed to be good. Like, how do you handle <laughs> yeah. it? See, it's so, so rude when they ask them in the interviews. It's just, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what were you do doing, like sucking ass in the game? <laughs> I'm not supposed to do that. You're supposed to be throwing a ball. <laughs> That's for the sausage races, pal. You got to exactly. get this together. <laughs> so I just, I, I don't think he's gonna be good right away. I think he can be good in a year or two. It's, but everybody's making him out to be like he's Patrick Mahomes 2.0 already, and I don't, I don't see it from what I saw. I mean, I see it from his arm talent, but I think he just has a long way to go in terms of other aspects of his game. Yeah. So. Alternatively, he could pull a Bryce Young kind of situation. Or not Bryce you mean Young, CJ Stroud. Stroud. Well, yeah. that's the thing. Well, he this could is... pull a Bryce Young situation. I went back and I Dude. also watched CJ Stroud because I was like, all right, let's see how CJ Stroud did. Dude, CJ Stroud was like destroying like Alabama yeah. or somebody in a bowl game. And I was like, holy shit, this guy was like <laughs> already like insane. Granted, yeah. he did have better receivers, like he had Marvin Harrison uh, Jr. Yep. and stuff like. But like, he was still like making great plays, making the right reads. Like he and he was playing against one of the best defenses in college football. It was like practically an NFL defense. So like, looking back at that, I was like, how did people not look at this guy and be like, oh my god? Specifically, the yeah. Panthers. When I, I, say I do think, yeah, I mean, I, I do think that there is a uh, there is an inclination to look at a guy who's on a team that's very good and say like the the goodness of the team carried him yep whereas like sometimes it's it's that like the team is very good and he's getting experience with other good players 
you know, mm -hmm. that are, um, you know, they're, they're all mutually helping each other in right. their goodness. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like, uh, the Jimmy Garoppolo where he's, when he was in San Francisco <laughs> yes. and then he goes somewhere else. They're like, Oh, this guy sucks. <laughs> uh, but I, I don't know. It's, it'll be interesting. I'm, I'm genuinely curious to see how it all plays out. And I don't really care because I really just want the Packers to beat everybody. So even if they're good, I don't give a shit because I think. I'll check that out. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so that's the Bears. Uh, and then we've got the NFC South. Oh. Um, <laughs> give me yeah. Atlanta. I think Atlanta's going to be good. I do too. Oh. What's different Kit. with Atlanta this year? Her cousins. Her cousins. Oh, yeah. That's right. I knew there was oh. something big. I give me Atlanta, not. give me Tampa, give me New Orleans, give me the other team that no one cares about, the Panthers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to do. Atlanta, Tampa, New Orleans, Panthers. I'm going to go Bucks. Oh. Yeah. Then Falcons, then uh, Saints, Panthers. Right, I'm also going to do what Rob did, but pretend yeah. I thought of it first. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. To be fair, this division is like... <laughs> not no, it's, it's been well, bad I mean, for a while i just yeah, yeah. i remember last year when it was preseason and everybody like every, all the all the news stories on espn were like oh atlanta's fixing to win the super bowl this year <laughs> then, <laughs> yeah you know like it's just <laughs> Which, uh, yeah i still hate them for not taking roma dunze and letting the bears take him because i actually <laughs> think that was my one of my favorite picks for the the falcons i was like dude they're gonna load up they have drake london they're gonna get a Dunze. They oh, got they Kirk just, Cousins. They John Robinson knew personally. that Kirk Cousins was gonna get injured instantly, so they had to get a quarterback. <laughs> yeah. They had to yeah. take. They had to take him. Cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> then we got the NFC West. I mean, Niners, oh, obviously. Yeah. yeah. And I, then, I think the Rams could be up there. It's I mean, I'm Rams second, and then give me. Give me cards, Hawks. I think the Seahawks are going to be bad this I'm just, year. I'm still surprised that the Rams are as good as they are. I really thought they were just going to crumble yeah. after the Super Bowl year. Yeah. Good coaching, good players. They did yeah. lose Aaron Donald. Yeah. Yeah. But they do have Puka Nakua and the uh, uh, ba -ba 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 Cooper, Cup. Cooper Cup. Yeah. Yep. So I wonder. So when do you think? I, 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 I'm, there's, there is a definitive answer to this, but like, like when, when are they, uh, seven? I, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Well, First that's out pretty, of him. yeah, pretty quick. Uh, no, uh, how many, how, how long until they can recover to the point where they can do like a full reload to what they were doing before? Cause seven. I haven't seen. <laughs> well, okay. you, you, you might be right. The first time. Yeah. 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 Um, no, but yeah, like just because, like, because uh, you, you remember what they did to get to the Super Bowl, they were just like blasting through oh, yeah, all man. their future picks. Yep. Yeah. So, I, but I think they're basically out of that now, right? I think so. Yeah, I think they actually did draft the first rounder this year. Yeah. So they they're probably. I mean, Sean McVay is still there. I I, pre, I think the GM, whoever it was, I don't remember, is still there. So I think your question kind of boils down to how long can Stafford be the guy. Yep. Probably not longer than probably this year, not much right? longer. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they have Garoppolo too, but he's basically the same story. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know, man. I, I think a lot of it depends on how, how long Stafford can lead this team, which I mean, I kind of expected that to be over already. So the fact that he's still cooking up back there. Yeah. I think they got a good chance at uh, a wild card bid again this year. I think. I don't know. It's just the way Stafford plays. He's not like a Brady type where he's been like avoiding contact his entire career. Like this, no. the dude goes for it and yeah. it is, has sacrificed his body on more than one occasion. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine he's 36. I, I think he's the, the, the window is closing quickly. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I, I think a lot of their decision to try to reload, like you're suggesting has, has probably quite a bit to do with, their uh their uh way that they view his right. longevity yeah 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 that, that i would i would concur and i'm not sure what they're gonna do because i mean the, their path to the super bowl was like somewhat like i feel like none, other teams didn't do exactly what they did where they just like blew all their future picks on like continuously 
taking shots. Yeah. He know? is he signed through the 2026 season. They actually just adjusted his contract. They just announced yesterday okay. that they did a contract adjustment for him. So he's not extended any further, but he is getting paid more up front at this point. Yeah. Which to me kind of signals like the likelihood of him exiting at the conclusion of his contract, but I'm sure somebody else would sweep him up real quick if that were the case. So they might want to yeah. Considering it's only two years left, I could totally see them bouncing after this year. I mean, depending on yeah, what I happens. wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. I mean, he almost, like, I know he almost retired like uh, not that long ago, or he was like, there were rumors of it. So I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, this dude was yeah. playing was when like Brett Favre was playing. Like he's yeah, <laughs> he's up there, he's and been he's, been, for he's a bit. been beat up. Uh, you know, yeah, that's, that's my biggest concern, dude. Is that like this right. guy has been hammered? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We'll see, but uh, I, you know what? I'm gonna go 49ers, Rams, Cardinals, Seahawks. I will also do that, and I think that's what everyone else did as well. I think we we're in. Well, I was gonna do yeah. Seahawks, I think Cardinals. Yeah. But I was like, you know what? I think Kyler Murray coming back. And they I got, think Kyler Murray, yeah. 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 And they got, what's but his name? Marvin Harrison. Marvin Jr. Harrison, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 But have you guys considered that it is Geno season? I think Geno season's done, Rob. It was not. <laughs> Geno season ended halfway through last season, brother. Look, this yeah. is like, it, it's, Geno season is very much like Mar- uh, Nintendo's year, uh, year of Luigi. Right. right. It, it right. wasn't mm-hmm. it wasn't really much happening in, in the year of more of an idea and, than like a right. literal yeah. span of time. Yeah. <laughs> Gino we season want to celebrate Luigi. Was, Gino was, season's in our hearts. Yeah. All right. It was 2022, so, Rob. 4,200 yards, 30 <laughs> touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Last year, 3,600, 20 touchdowns, nine interceptions. Like, I, that's still really good. It's, it's still good, good but, but like, yeah. it's. It was not get them into the playoffs again. That's <laughs> yeah, sure. true. Well, I mean, other things happen to not because I mean that's a, that's a that that you know statistically. I mean, yeah, speaking, they only missed that, the playoffs by like half a game, right? Yeah, so that's, like statistically speaking, that's 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 a top fifteen QB. You know, so I good, don't good. top half. Think he's a top fifteen quarterback. <laughs> but I mean, if you're talking about the stats for those two years, that's absolutely top fifteen. I mean, you could argue that it was in garbage time or whatever. I don't know. I didn't watch a lot of Seahawks games last year, but I mean, I'm, I'm pretty you, sure. If you, yeah, if you, look at, if you go, if you go on some, if you if you look up, well, them then stats, have them win in the division, then okay. Yeah. You know well. what? <laughs> the, the, I'll spitefully throw out a whole division rank. Oh my god, he's doing it! Just a few Geno season. <laughs> it's Geno. Give me the season. Hawks, baby. Let's go. Hawks, Niners, Cardinals, Rams. Rams wow. at the bottom. Fuck them. <laughs> Also, I forgot that Pete Carroll's not even there anymore. Yeah, yeah that's oh, right. God, right, yeah, I should. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, is whatever. He still, um, <laughs> do, so what happened with that? Is he still the, you know, head of football whatevers? Is he still in that um, weird role? That's uh-huh. a good question. Bro's old, know. man. Apparently, yeah. he is a Seahawk advisor, so yeah. Okay, uh, so he's okay. still in that role. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's only 72. I say only. That's old. But he said <laughs> okay. he dismissed the notion that he needed a break from the grind of coaching. So, like, yeah. I think he still just wanted to coach. And there is, like, no, yeah. I think I think he's just waiting for, like, a good opportunity to bounce. You know? yeah. Wikipedia. Out of that situation, they're going to be bored as hell after, like, a month. So, yep. yeah. It doesn't shock me at all. Wikipedia calls him an American football executive and former coach now. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be wild yeah. to have no Carroll and no Belichick this year on the side. It is really weird. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's all the divisions. And Holy. Yeah, we'll see how wrong we are in a while. We I'm always sure are. So we always it's are. To find out no, I got it. Per- I got it perfect wrong. this year, and oh, I, oh, it's such a safe thing to say because if I'm wrong, no one's gonna remember me saying this. But if I'm right, it's gonna look real good, <laughs> dude. Yeah. Imagine if we were all wrong about the AFC West. How nice would that be? I That'd hope be, we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for listening. Uh, over on Patreon, you can become a patron. Yeah. yeah and thank patrons. you again to all the patrons uh, in the off season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, you we made don't it. Take you granted. made it. You did it. <laughs> we couldn't yes. have done it without the fans. You know, we just came through this program. 
I mean, legitimately, though, we don't take for granted the fact that we are asking people to pledge monthly for a show that is absolutely <laughs> yeah. not running for half the yeah, year. Yeah, that is, <laughs> that we is don't the... control the football. The football controls yeah, we, we, us. Yeah, we, we talk about the football when the football is there to talk about. Which, by yeah. the way, if you want to play fantasy football. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Right. We uh we take from which tier is it? It's the uh, the first, the first tier. The, the first, first tier. Uh, the, we're, well, I think it was whatever the ten dollar one, right? Like the first name. The or hurdle the man tier. Tiers, dude. <laughs> hurdle the man. Yeah. Yeah. The hurdle, the hurdle the man, man tier. Yeah. So that's the ten a month. Um, yes, yeah, the ten a month. We currently have thirteen members in there. So if you are one of the thirteen, or if you sign up now, uh, mm -hmm. we will pick some people from that. To be in the Almost fantasy football, all of them. We pretty could, much uh, like everybody. The, we so. could uh, we could like draw them next uh, next show. True. Well, when is yeah. next show? Because it all might all not be till question. after the preseason. Yeah, so we <laughs> so, might want to draw right. before. We could. Uh, we'll just draw on the Discord. If you're not in the Discord, join the Discord. What are you doing? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, um, if you're going to listen to a show like this, you might as well be a part of the community. It's that niche. Yeah. So be in the Discord. We'll, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll draw, we'll draw like, a, I don't know, a week from or two. So. We'll draw it soon. Yeah, eventually. <laughs> yeah. We'll draw eventually. It's not a professional podcast here. Yeah. This is what you, uh, you support. This is my life. <laughs> <laughs> this is everything to me. This is everything to me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So yeah, go do that if you want to be in it. Also, like, comment, subscribe. We're back. Football. We're back. We're so back. And we'll see you next time. Not for a couple of weeks. Yeah, not for like in a month. Hopefully, nobody gets hurt in the shitty preseason. See ya. Oh no, you just hurt me. Oh jeez. See you in a few weeks. Bye bye.